Hello there, beautiful soul family. <laughs> How are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. Today's light language transmission is about dissolving the unhealthy ego. So the ego is a defense mechanism. It's a protective mechanism that helps us to protect ourselves from danger, from harm, from perceived danger and harm. And in saying that, there is a healthy version of the ego. We all have ego to some degree, to a certain extent. We all house the ego. And in situations where we may be facing danger, so for example, if you're walking and somebody tries to abduct you or tries to mob you or rob you or something like that, you need to have instant reflexes. And usually if you have a healthy ego, you will have instant reflexes, kind of like Neo in The Matrix when he realized that he held the power, he held the key, and all he had to do was bend in the direction of the flow and he was able to recreate his own reality so the ego can be helpful to us if we're able to keep it in check and if it's not running the show but when it begins to run the show and when we start to identify too much with things for example when we're identifying with a persona the personality or the identity that we've created a false self mask that we might wear to show up in the world so that we can protect our true authentic selves because we're afraid of being rejected, abandoned, judged, neglected, misunderstood, we're afraid of being ridiculed, we're afraid of the opinions of others and what others will think of us if we truly take that mask off and come out from hiding behind the veil and show up as who we really are in the world. This is something that almost everybody struggles with in their journey. And we all go through ego deaths from time to time. I went through one just the other day, a miniature ego death where spirit wanted me to go through the experience of it again so that I could deliver this healing and this channeling with a sense of understanding and a sense of having gone through it myself recently so I can actually empathize with those who might be going through it, who might be experiencing an ego death right now or who might be going through a dark night of the soul. It's okay, fam. Just understand that the ego death happens in layers. It's obviously a persona or an identity or something that we've really strongly identified with throughout our entire lives. And we may have uh, added layers to that where we've just continued to pile on top of pile on top of pile who we think we are and who we think we're supposed to be. And we've continued to just decorate that mask more and more to make it feel more comfortable, make it fit a little bit more, make it uh, blend in to the surroundings in our society. But Spirit is saying it's safe for you to take that mask off now. It's safe for you to show up as your true authentic self. It's safe for you to remove that extra layer of protection that is actually holding you back in some cases and blocking you from operating at your true potential, at your greatest potential. It's blocking you off from really embodying and grounding your higher self and your higher knowing and your higher knowledge onto planet Earth. It's blocking your heart from being able to fully come out and live its truth. And from my own experience, fam, when we follow our heart, when we truly listen to our heart, it leads us and guides us to the truth. It has the answers. It is the infinite wellspring of wisdom that we come to this planet Earth with and we just have spiritual amnesia and we forget about it. But once you take off that false identity, once you put down the masks, once you take down the defenses, once you allow the walls to come crumbling down and you just stand there naked in your truth, then you truly get to touch and experience life in all its forms. Then you truly understand the oneness in all of existence. Then you truly understand that separation is just an illusion, that the fear of being rejected and abandoned is just an illusion because in truth you would not be here if you were abandoned. You are not abandoned at all, fam. Spirit has you. Spirit has your back. Spirit is with you every step of the way, guiding you, showing you signs, showing you synchronicities, leading you to light languages, leading you to different channels, different healers, different places, showing you through billboards, <laughs> showing you through music every single day of your life, showing you through animals, spirit animals, through other people that you come into contact with, through divine alignment, that you are never rejected, you are never abandoned, you are truly loved on all levels. So it's okay for you to let go of any hoarding or anywhere where you're holding on so tightly to who you think you are, who you think you're supposed to be, or what others want you to be and expect you to be. Let it go, fam. It's okay for you to release that now. 
It's okay for you to step out and walk beyond the veil and see what's there so that you can see yourself clearly and therefore see all else in this universe and on this planet clearly. When we allow the ego to run the show and it becomes unhealthy, we tend to want to control things out of fear. We tend to want to manipulate energies to work in our favor. We tend to try to do things to control the outside circumstances so that we can feel safe within ourselves and within our own bodies and our own vessels. But the truth is we have no control of anything outside of ourselves. We only have control of what's going on within. So the more we can heal those aspects and parts of ourselves that are living in a state of fear, that are making us perceive things as dangerous when they may not be dangerous at all, then the more we will be able to come into our true authentic selves. We will be able to understand ourselves without any labels, without any persona, without any identity. And we will be able to merge into alignment with our multi-dimensional presence and multi-dimensional essence which is ever evolving which is infinite which is eternal which is unbreakable which is unbeatable which cannot be destroyed it can only be transformed Sometimes when we operate from an unhealthy sense of self-ego, it can make us feel powerful in the moment. It can make us feel like we are righteous, like we are better than, like we are more superior to others. But in truth, fam, there is no such thing as superior or inferior. We are all one in the same. And this dissolving of the ego and these light codes that come through to help you to dissolve those strongholds and that strong, unhealthy ego within yourself is going to help you to realize that we truly are all one, that there is no need to compare or compete, that there is no need to judge or to blame, that there is no need to feel resentment or hostile or try to prove your power or try to assert your control into any situation or over anybody else or over anything in your life. If you just allow yourself to surrender, if you allow yourself to let go, if you allow all the walls to come crumbling down that have kept you stuck in a self-imposed dungeon where you have been unable to truly be who you really are, then you're going to feel liberated, fam. You will feel so free and in that freedom you will allow others, you will gift others with the freedom to be themselves. You will allow everything in this world to just be what it is and you will follow your heart no matter what. And when you begin to follow your heart, then your ego can be integrated in such a way where it is healthy, where it will operate from a space of knowing when to come out, knowing when to act and react and respond, knowing when it needs to be present and knowing when it needs to take a back seat. Knowing that you are the leader and your spirit is the leader, your heart is the leader and the guide, so it can relax it doesn't have to always take the forefront. It doesn't have to always try to protect you. It doesn't have to always try to defend you. It can comfortably just merge into you and align with you in such a way that when you are in danger, it will show up. It will come on to alert straight away. It will be like ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I'm needed right now. But other than that, it's going to be able to relax. And when the ego relaxes, you will feel far less exhausted. You will feel far less overburdened and far less burnt out and overworked. And you'll feel much more in a state of peace, much more in a state of harmony and balance within yourself and in alignment. Once you are able to integrate your ego in such a way, you will be able to experience life on a much deeper level, on a much more profound level, on a level where you feel touched by the essence of the oneness of all things. And if you struggle with this, and if you have been going through ego deaths, or if you're currently going through one, I would highly advise that you do some form of shadow work, or some form of healing and clearing that helps you to really get through it. And just know fam, again, like I said, it's okay. We all go through this. We've all got an ego. And the more we can integrate it without judging ourselves, or blaming ourselves, or feeling bad about it, the more we'll be able to show up in the world for who we truly are, as we truly are, unapologetically, unashamed, and in a state of complete surrender. So as I mentioned earlier, the other day, Spirit took me through another little mini ego death where I was able to experience a plethora of emotions, and I often do. Spirit usually really takes me deep through many types of emotions so that I can feel and heal and understand 
and keep it real <laughs> with all others because for me to be able to heal others and deliver the energy the way that I do, I must experience it on a deep level myself. I must really go there to the core myself before I can deliver that magnitude of healing. And Spirit actually guided me to a song that just started coming out of my mouth, which is uh, a song called Meili Chadar Or Ke Kese. And my father used to sing this a lot when I was a little girl. And I remember feeling very connected to some of the songs and bhajans that my father would sing as a child. And only now they make more sense to me in my life when, on the journey that I'm on, on the path that I'm on at this time. But as I started singing, that spirit guided me to accompany the light language transmission with that song because it has a very healing, deep healing effect on the soul. And I will link two versions of it down below, one with lyrics and one with just the music because the music alone um, is so soul touching that it's healing just by listening to the music alone. And the bhajan itself is very healing. The lyrics, the words, the meaning behind it, the depth of it, it's very, very healing. Even if you can't understand the language, you'll be able to feel it on a soul level. And basically what the lyrics are saying is, how can I come to you, Spirit? How can I come to you, Divine? How can I come to you, Most High? With all this dirt, with all this rubble, with all this crap that I have collected, with all the mistakes that I have made, with all the regrets that I have, with all the tarnishing that I've done to this beautiful vessel that you've given me, to this beautiful essence that you've given me, how can I come to you tarnished? With what face can I show up to you? With what excuses can I show up to you? And it continues to say that I feel embarrassed to show up to you in this state. I feel embarrassed to come to you like this because you gave me everything. You gave me a beautiful vessel, untapped, untouched, untarnished, and I came here and I completely disregarded it. But even in those lyrics and even in those words, there is such a beauty about it that it helps you to actually relieve yourself of that feeling of being tarnished. It's almost like a full body, full blown cleansing and purification process. So this particular transmission will be like a cleansing and purification process. So I would highly recommend to take some downtime after you listen to this transmission because it might bring up your ego. It might bring up certain facets and certain aspects of your ego to the surface so that you can become more consciously aware of them so that you can actually actually deal with them and heal them so that you can do the shadow work and utilize the tools that you need to to get rid of any fears any blockages any stuck and stagnant energy that is causing your ego to be on a repeated cycle of just showing up when it doesn't need to and trying to protect you and defending you in situations where it's really unnecessary so with that said fam i know that this will reach you in divine timing i wish you all the best on your journey Remember to surrender, fam. Surrender all the way, as much as you possibly can. I know it's not easy, and I know it's going to happen in layers, but allow each layer to be shed as it needs to. Or like onions, like in Shrek, it happens in layers. And when we can just allow it to happen at its own pace, then we can transform in divine time and in alignment with the greater good of all things. So take a deep breath in and allow yourself to release any unhealthy ego, allow the ego to be dissolved, any walls that you have put up to keep out harm, anywhere where you have tried to protect yourself and created self-imposed cages and limitations on your path, allow it all to be released. And with each exhale, set the intention that you are ready to release all of the fears and all of the perceived harm and danger that is keeping you stuck and stagnant and creating perpetual cycles of the unhealthy ego showing up. With each breath, set the intention that you are ready to integrate your ego now so that it becomes a healthy mechanism to protect you when you are truly in need of its assistance. Let's begin. <laughs> Ashini, Ashana, 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 Ashana,
Kira Akatakatoro Sukoto Ishikitina Atare Atare Arakatana Katoro Kotoro Kotola Kurakata Saitanaka Anaka Anakaraka Kata Araka Kakupa In a Gada Katare Kanakate Shakatare Katrail Araka Arakanaka Akaka Karakas Kitikit Sarah, get the key. Hanana, she, Hanakana, or Rokotoko, so good to go to 